Hi, my name is Valerie and this is my 23rd video on my no shampoo experience. So my first recorded video was on June 1st of 2019, that's almost two years ago, that's pretty awesome, where I use baking soda and apple cider vinegar but it made my scalp skin really itchy and my hair feel, it felt nice but it was a little worrisome because of how itchy my scalp was, so I decided to use lots of other things instead. Um, my last recorded video was my one year update where I didn't actually do much of anything. I just talked about my experience and how I seem to enjoy it and how I was going to keep trying it. And today I'm going to talk about running out of ingredients to use in your hair. So I have come upon an experience where I have run out of eggs to use in my hair because that's what I have been using for the last several showers that I've taken. And so I'm going to attempt to use a bar of soap instead. Technically it's not shampoo or conditioner. It's basically just taking the oils out of my hair. It's a cleaning product and it's not adding other things to my hair like shampoo might have ingredients to try and coat your hair to strengthen it and then conditioner has ingredients which will coat your hair in order to make it very slick and smooth so that it feels like it's clean. Well, soap doesn't do that. Soap just cleans you off and it might have some proteins or something in order to help your skin feel moisturized or very soft so that it doesn't end up being super dried out, but I am just going to use that. I do have apple cider vinegar, so I am going to use that in order to try and just keep my hair from being, you know, feeling brittle or frizzy, and uh, we will see how this goes today. So I have a bar of Cetaphil soap, which for my skin is really good because it's gentle and it does a really good job cleaning up um, like oil on my skin, which causes acne. So that should do pretty good for my hair, right? And then I have my favorite apple cider vinegar. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed with about a cup of water should help with keeping my hair from being too dried out and frizzy. Okay, so instead of doing this in the bathroom due to tight constraints of being in a camper, uh, I'm going to talk about my greasy hair out here. And I think you can kind of see right away that the grease line is kind of like this. And that's just because I pretty much keep it in braids all the time because look at how long this is getting. This reaches all the way down to my natural waist right now, which means hopefully by the end of the summer it'll be below my hips, around my hips area, which means then I can donate it, which would be awesome. But because it's so long and it gets tangled so easily, I just keep it in braids all the time, which means I maybe brush it once a day just to redo the braids, which means I haven't really been taking the grease all the way down my hair like I should. But you can kind of see, eh, yeah, it peters out right about here and it's a little lower on this side since obviously the part is lower on this side. But um, yep, I actually haven't had a shower for like five days, so this might be day number six, which means it's really, really dark and it needs to go, so I figured this would be a really good introduction to the possibility of using soap since I do have so much grease in this area, which is primarily where I will be applying the soap, but it's not nearly as stiff as it was when I first started this journey. Like, yeah, it's stiff, but it kind of just looks a little bit messy and it can easily just be combed back into place. And But um, I think that it's a lot. I mean, yes, it has been a f quite a few days, so it does feel very greasy, but it feels a lot smoother than it used to and not really so oily, which I think is a really nice improvement overall for a year's worth of work. And um, I am excited to see how soap will get this out of my hair. 
Before I start this part of the video, today's date, which I tend to forget a lot. So today's date is May 16th, which means it is almost June 1st, and that would make it almost two years, almost two years of having no shampoo or conditioner in my hair, which I think is pretty awesome. But putting soap in my hair was very different from the majority of the ingredients that I tend to put in my hair. A lot of the times when I put stuff in my hair, I like to keep my hair dry because that, that gives the opportunity for those ingredients to like soak into my hair. Whereas if my hair is already wet, whatever I put on tends to just like to slide right off and it doesn't really coat anything or get anything clean. Well, soap is not like that. Soap is a lot easier to put in your hair once you get your hair wet. I did try putting it in dry and it, it didn't really have the ability to go past like that top layer. So once I got my hair wet, everything was a lot easier and I was able to get my hair nice and clean. It obviously rinsed out really well. And then I put my apple cider vinegar in my hair and I rinsed that out. And now we're going to see how it turns out once it is dry. <laughs> Well, my hair is dry now, and it feels very clean and very light. And I don't know if you can really tell with the lighting here, but it's not dark up here anymore. It's, um, you know, all of that oil has come out, and uh, it seems to have worked very well. My hair is very smooth. And that means to me that the apple cider vinegar did its job and kept things from getting too dried out. And because it feels definitely not oily anymore, the soap did its job as well. So if you end up running out of ingredients for whatever you normally use to clean your hair, you can always just use a bar of soap. And then I do recommend the apple cider vinegar because when I was in the shower and I put that soap in my hair and rinsed it out, I could feel all of that oil leave my hair and it did get very, um, because it was in the water, it was obviously not dry, but like very, uh, like, frictiony like it didn't want to move like normal hair would if you had uh, shampoo or egg or whatever it is you'd normally use in there so using that apple cider vinegar definitely helped to at least make it nice and smooth and uh, i would recommend this method for if you do run out of something you normally would use to cleanse your hair i hope this helped you decide whether or not you want to try that out and I hope you have a nice rest of your day.